Ten best zombie movies. He's a little bad. He's a little bad cat. He is. He's a little bad cat. Oh, hello, Toki. Don't start walking around. Here, take Gary in the kitchen. All right. If you can hear my dogs, I'm sorry. I've been trying to do this video for like what seems like forever now. And this was the subscriber that sent me the package the other day had requested in the comments that I do my top 10 favorite zombie films. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the top 10 favorites. Toki! True, loud ass. All right, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. But I'm gonna try to do this in one take this time because I spent two hours last night and it was all ridiculous, completely ridiculous. So we're gonna start off right away with number 10. 1985 George Romero classic Day of the Dead. Now, when I first saw this movie, I wasn't the biggest fan. It didn't really have the feel and the atmosphere as the other ones. It was a bit darker. But as an adult, it it's right up my alley. I like I like I like it a little bit better now, okay? And who who could forget Bub? Bub is an icon in the zombie world. Uh, better than anything they could ever put into a TV show. Because we all know there's no good zombie TV shows. You know the Walking I mean? Dead sucks! <laughs> so we're going to move right along. We're going to move right along to number nine. Redneck Zombies from Trauma. And if you haven't seen this movie, oh boy, are you in for a treat. Now, this is like the lowest of low budgets. The sleaziest of sleaze. But it's Trauma. And everything Trauma has ever done has been nothing but masterworks of film. Like the Toxic Avengers. Well, you can't probably can't see it. But yeah, I got all the Toxic Avengers. Maybe we'll uh, explore those one day. But Redneck Zombies. It's basically a spoof. Uh, basically, the Tritoxin from some other movie falls off a wagon. Some hillbillies find it. They make some hooch, and it turns you into the zombies. And it's it's trauma. There's nothing really else to nothing up nothing else to be said about it. All right, sorry. Um, I get a little anxious sometimes. I'm trying to get this done. This is the best I can do. Number eight, Return of the Living Dead, 1985. Now, a lot of people would think this would be higher on the list, but you'll find out why it's not in a minute. Now, I do love this movie, too. I love all these movies, but this one, uh, it wasn't my favorite as a child. Uh, but... As an adult, it's it's inappropriate. It's inappropriate for children, so that might be why I didn't like it as much when I was a child. But this is one of the first zombie movies where the zombies actually spoke. And it's one of the first zombie movies where you could not kill them by shooting them in the head. Or by setting them on fire, because setting them on fire only made it worse. So, I don't know if you could kill these. I... I don't want to spoil the ending, but yeah, they kill him in an interesting, interesting way. So uh, moving on, we're gonna move right along now, right along to 2004's Dawn of the Dead, directed by Zack Snyder. Frank, shut up! Why well, you gotta be bad all the time, every day, all the time, every day? Sorry. And I wish it. I, I gotta figure out the splice thing. Anyway, Dawn of the Dead 2004, really good cinematography. One of the better remakes out there. Uh, Sarah Polly does a really good job. I don't remember anybody else's name other than Makai Pfeiffer. He's like probably the worst part of the movie, honestly. But then you got Bing Rames. He's pretty cool. And I can't remember the guy's name. He plays CJ. But he's one of those characters that you hate so much when you first get introduced to him. But then he just, at the end, he comes through and becomes my favorite character of the film. So if you haven't seen 2004's Dawn of the Dead, it's a little more fast-paced than uh, what it's based on. But it just doesn't have the charm for me. So that's number seven. Now, number six might surprise people because they'll be like, well, wait a minute now. Return of the Living Dead Part 3 from 1993. 
Yeah. That cover alone puts it ahead of the original. Because look, look at it. Just look. Come on now. <laughs> we can look at that. She can eat my brains anytime, right? Not that there's uh, much there, but we're going to do this. We're going to get through this. Return of the Living Dead 3, your tragic love story, two teens, they're in love, they want to escape from the harsh realities of everyday life, and they get in a traffic, traffic accident. It's a telephone pole. She dies, takes her to his dad's lab where they bring people back to life, brings her back to life. She wants to eat brains. He doesn't want her to eat his brains. So she cuts herself. This is where cutting came from. So actually, no, I shouldn't make fun of that. People will get mad in the comments section and call me an asshole. But, you know. Anyway, number five. Now, Chad Ashbrook. Some of you might know Chad Ashbrook as the guy that still hasn't made his killer flick tag video. Uh, he asked me if uh, 28 weeks or 28 days later was going to be on the list. And it's not. Because it's not traditional zombies. We're going for traditional zombies here. Even though technically the Return of the Living Dead zombies talk. And then this one, she's like fully aware that she's still... Alright, we're not putting those... Those are a list for another day. Along with like Night of the Comet. Night of the Creeps. Slither. Because those aren't real zombies. Those are alien invasion movies. So we went with Fulci Zombie. Some of you might know it as... Zombie 2, or the other weird way to spell zombie, um, or the sequel to Dawn of the Dead, but it's not really a sequel to Dawn of the Dead. Now, this movie's famous for the, the famous zombie versus the shark scene. Let's see if I can find that picture. You like that? I snapped and it popped up. Or did it pop up? Who knows? I don't know. I didn't look first. Probably should have looked first. Anyway, it's also got that famous eye gouging scene where he just grabs the witch and she's like, and it's like pretty badass. But <laughs> this movie is Italian. It's fully Italian. It's Italianly dubbed, and it aggravates me. I'd rather read subtitles to tell you the truth because I got a couple other movies which you probably can't see because they're down here uh, that don't have subtitles, they just come dubbed, and it's annoying, and it aggravates me, and it's kind of hard to watch the movie. So we're going to move right along, number, nine, number four! I hope I've been saying the numbers between each ones. Number four, y'all might get confused. I I was going to have the, the numbers spinning around up here, but that took really long the last time. But, number four! It's the last time I'm going to say it. Return of the Living Dead, part two. Now... <laughs> If you look at the score this has on IMDb, you'd be surprised to see that this is so high on my list. Now, is it that I like bad movies? No. It's that everybody else is wrong. Because this movie kicks ass. This is way better than the original. In so many ways. So many more comedic lines, like iconic lines. For instance, the get the damn screwdriver out of my head. I'm getting that. I'm going to find a spot on my body, and I'm gonna find that little 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 zombie head. I'm gonna get that tattooed. It's gonna say, "Get the damn screwdriver out of my head." That's my next tattoo. I guarantee it. Maybe I'll show it to you guys when I get it. But this movie's got that Monster Squad feel to it. It's got the uh, the Goonies feel to it. The Stand by Me coming of age, uh, and it's hilarious. Michael Jackson's in it. Now that's the thing I was gonna bring up. I almost forgot. I'm glad I remembered. Uh, Back when Day of the Dead came out, it's when zombies stopped being scary because of Michael Jackson's Thriller. Some of y'all might remember that from one of my other videos where I had the making of Thriller in my hand and I'm a dummy and I lost it. But that's a story for another video. I already told the story. So here we go. Moving on to number three. Now this is the nitty gritty. Some of you people might be like, well, it's a weird list, you know, to be had. But number three is Night of the Living Dead, 1990. Directed by Tom Savini. Now, oddly enough, Tom Savini did not do the makeup effects for this film. But you wouldn't know that because 
some of these zombies, especially the graveyard zombie, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to find a picture for that. So if I'm if I'm correct in there being the picture on Google. This zombie right here looks way better than anything on The Walking Dead. I mean, come on. Does anybody even watch that show anymore? I mean, I watch it out of, out of sympathy or uh, pity. But I think after this season, I'm just going to stop. That's another video for another day. I, I, I might do a rant video on The Walking Dead. It's pissed me off, like, beyond all belief. But this movie is probably within my top five remakes of all time now maybe one of these days I'll do a remake ranking ooh that sounds good remake ranking um, but as for now if you haven't seen Tom Savini's version of Night of the Living Dead you're missing out because some parts are better than the original but some parts they're kind of cringeworthy but overall it's a great movie so check it out. And then we're going to slide on into number two with Night of the Living Dead, 1969. Directed by the master. This was the beginning of the zombie genre. Now there had been white zombie before that, but those weren't your, what we see as zombies nowadays. Those were the voodoo zombies, which uh, if you've seen Serpent in the Rainbow, which could have been on this list. But it doesn't really hold up over time. I watched it the other day. So it didn't make the list. But Night of the Living Dead, the social commentary alone is worth watching the movie. Even if it wasn't a horror movie. Even if it was just some people that just happened to be out of gas, stuck in the middle of nowhere, watching TV. But no, that's not what it is. But one of the best opening scenes in a zombie movie ever. Like... This is 1969 we're talking about, and they still haven't necessarily topped this. And this is just zombie movies. I mean, not necessarily horror movies in general, zombie movies. Now, the Dawn of the Dead remake has a really great opening sequence, which I had talked about in the movie. The list that I made the other day, but I ruined it. It's all been ruined. It's all been ruined. But Night of the Living Dead, Lee McCoy, if you're watching, I'm going to tag you in this, Lee. So hopefully you're watching... Come on, man. Look at that. I mean, I know you just got it on VHS, but I will let you borrow. A, I got the Blu-ray copy. You should probably have the Criterion Collector Edition. Oh, I need me a Criterion Edition so bad. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's, that's why it's number two. Now, I don't have as many Dawn of the Deads, but that's number one. Number one, Dawn of the Dead. Spoiler alert, if you've been watching the video, you should have seen this coming. Dawn of the Dead. Take note, horror movie directors out there, or aspiring horror movie directors out there. This is how you build character. Now, a lot of some of the characters in this movie, especially Flyboy, at first, he just gets on your nerves, he's annoying, but then... As time goes by, he becomes one of your favorite... All, all the characters in this movie are my favorite character. I can't just pick one. Roger, uh... Yeah. Now you got me wanting to think, and it's not gonna work. So, there you have it. My top ten zombie movies. So, uh... If you see that, I can't tell... I got sent house the other day, so I'm gonna review that. But before I can do that, Matt wants me to review... Matt's my boss. By the way, he's, he's one of the supervisors. He wants me to review The Secret Life of Walter Mitty, or he's not going to watch any of my videos. So, I'm going to review The Secret Life of Walter Mitty, and then Ryan, I'll get to House, and then eventually, I'll get to Monkey Trouble. This is getting a little overwhelming, but uh, I'm going to do my best. So, like, dislike, ups, downs, subscribe, share with your friends, tell the world... That's the top 10 horror video zombies. Yeah. All right. It's not past my bedtime, but I've been I've been up too long, working too hard. I'm tired. I'm going to I'm bed. I'm tired! I'm glad you did. <laughs>